Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Lynn. I know I usually start off without a wig, but this week I've decided to go ahead and start with the wig because it is a lace front wig and it took a little bit of adjusting for me to get it to look like I wanted it to look and it still doesn't quite look like I want it to look, but you know, let's keep it moving. This is the Cloud 9 wig. Her name is Solana. I'll put the color down in the box and more of a description down in the description box so that you can find your own version of this wig should you so desire. I This is my second what lace wig that I've owned as of yet. I do like the what lace brand. I'm not a fan of this particular wig. And I'm not sure if it's because it's so much long uh, beauty queen type hair or if it's the color or if it's how it looks on me. I don't know what it is, but I am not a fan. And every now and then, you guys know, I do have wigs that I just don't like for whatever reason. And this happens to be one of them. Um, it's not that it's not a nice wig. It, it's just not my style, okay? Um, I actually had someone that I ran into not too long ago her name was Loretta, and uh, she had this wig, and I was like, this is so cute. And it's very cute for Loretta, not so much for your girl, Lynn. But whatever, you live and you learn, learn uh, you, 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 you keep it moving, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably just put this one in the box and see who wants to have her, because, uh, yeah, no, I won't be wearing this one again. Um, I want to talk this week about intentions and about sharing too much with people. And I know that sounds funny coming from me because I share so much with you uh, guys, but I haven't shared everything because some of the things that I've chosen not to share, I want to keep under wraps because I've discovered some things in my short time here on this earth. Not too long ago, I put a post up on Facebook where I said something to the effect of, I've learned to keep my plans under wraps because just like folks can wish good energy on you, they can wish bad energy on you, right? <sighs> Guys, if I could go into detail about what that means, I've had some things happen to me here recently that I just knew were for me. I knew were for me. Every step I had made was to achieve this goal. And as it turns out, through no fault of my own, well, not recently, I'm sure it was of my fault from 10, 15 years ago, but whatever. Through no fault of my own recently, those things didn't happen, and I disappointed myself, I disappointed my kids, um, and I didn't get to achieve something that I've been trying to achieve for quite some time now. And it really hurt my feelings and it really broke my heart, and um, it got me to thinking. Nearly every time I have shared some things with too many people, it's fallen through. And people in my life, I'm sure most of them are positive, but it's sometimes hard to discern who's for you and who's just pretending to be for you, right? Because some folks pretend to be in your corner. They pretend to be for you, but they really are, you know, throwing daggers at you behind your back. Not to say that any of the people in my corner have done that, but I've learned that it's best to just shut up until things come to pass. In this particular case, I shared with too many people, and sure enough, it fell through. So when it comes to certain things regarding my business, uh, regarding uh, my personal business as well, I don't share too, too much uh, because what I've discovered is that sharing too, too much can sometimes lead to too many negative thoughts uh, in the process. And so as a result, sometimes things don't work out like you would hope they would. Um, so this particular situation, I, I won't elaborate on it because like I said, I'm still healing over it. It's not over no, it's not over no dude, y'all. It's not over a man for once. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done with those, but it was over something that I wanted to achieve and accomplish in my life. You know, someone in their uh, mid to late 20s, I felt like this is something that I should be accomplishing at this stage in my life. And so I did some things, I made some changes, I made some moves to make that happen. And then as it began to come to pass, I got so excited and I shared with people and I was just happy. So I shared because I just knew this was the, the, the culmination of everything that I had been doing for these past few years, right? And then it fell through and my heart was broken and it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> That's the kicker. So guys, I'm saying all that to say, sometimes it's okay to keep your plans under wraps. Sometimes it's, only, it's okay to just trust your immediate people in your immediate circle because not everyone is for you. Some people can wish bad on you. Just like, they, just like they, 
not everyone is for you. Some people can wish bad on you just like they can wish good on you guys. So maybe, and I'm just suggesting, maybe you should kind of keep your plans to yourself or close to your heart until they come to pass, until they come to fruition. And maybe uh, things will work out. Or at least you will have saved yourself the embarrassment of having to go back and say, huh, just kidding, that's not happening. Ah, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, like I'm having to do. Before I wrap this video up, guys, I'm wearing my custom design mood t-shirt. I am going to put the details about how you get your own mood t-shirt. If you can see, my mood t-shirt is a side eye because I'm constantly giving folks the side eye. All the damn time. <laughs> so if you want your own mood t-shirt, I'll put the details down in the, in the description box so you can get your own mood shirt. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here for another segment of Wigless Wednesdays. And uh, if you could, if you have not give, given me a thumbs up for this video, I'd appreciate that. And also leave a comment so that I can know what you're thinking. If you have not subscribed, please take a minute to click subscribe. And next to that, the bell icon so that you re will receive the notifications whenever I post a new video. Like I like to always say, guys, be better today than you were yesterday. Be better tomorrow than you were today. I will talk to you and see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.